So number two, very, very important on thought analysis. Thought analysis. Then we have um, two questions there. CN being glucose, DN being um, zinc oxide. Okay. They give us some list of reagents. One of it was fairly solution A and B. That means we're going to test for this. Of course, you know that this one is soluble in water. This is soluble. So it's soluble in water. So this is actually insoluble. Insoluble in water. But can dissolve in acid and base. Being amphoteric. Okay. So on the issue of this glucose, most questions like this are done in a tabular form under the heading texts observation observation and then inference okay so on this on this you are going to have a C which is solid sample plus maybe 10 cm of distilled water loss steer check to see if it dissolved okay so that's how the test will look like so plus of course okay that is not coming in now this is what you have in the first question which is likely going to be first or the one this one can be first as well so what do you see here of course you notice that this glucose is soluble in water due to its functional goal soluble in water so means that C dissolves Dissolves, gives, gives colorless filtrates. This is what Some you may go further to ask to test the filtrates, but it is a colorless solution with litmus paper blue and uh, this thing. So you can still say solution you have here plus litmus paper. So if you have that solution tested, of course, no effects. No effects. No effects on blue and red litmus people. So you have your inferences here. So since C dissolves, so that means to give colors, that means C is a soluble salt. So once it has no effect, that means C is neutral. Cool. So this is on that. So we can have our next text immediately, which is to the solution we have here. So test solution from here. So from here, so C aqueous now. It's now in aqueous. C aqueous plus failing, failing solution A and B. Okay. Failing solution A is just copper sulfate. Copper 2, tetrasulfate 6. Uh, with... Um, Concentrated few drops of conk Na H2SO4. This here is sodium potassium tartarates with dissolving sodium hydroxide. That's A and B. Both of them are mixed together and then add it in and make sure it is warmed or heats gently. Gently heats. Okay, of course, once you heat, you see brick red, pressy. PTs formed. This is what you see. Don't say it's glucose that you see. It's not, you don't know if it's glucose or if it's galactose or even if it is maltose. So, what you just need to do here is to write here that's reducing, reducing sugar present. This is on the first phase of CN. This is the whole test you are going to carry out for CN. So we do DN immediately. Okay, DN. For DN, there are some kind of chemical reaction that we need to do here quickly before we start doing something. I don't know. DN, you may be asked to divide it into two. Okay? Yes, maybe one for dry test. Okay? Of course, DN is zinc oxide. You okay, may be asked to hit it direct. And then if you hit it direct, um, the color is going to change. The color is going to change. The color is white. But if you really heat, the color change to yellow on heating and then goes back to white again on cooling. What happened to zinc oxide when it is heated is that it's 
loses this oxygen to form zinc. Oh, now it's supposed to form zinc ion, but it's not forming that. It forms zinc plus, meaning that the deep block has been tampered, has been dissolved. So it's going to excite the zinc to become yellow immediately. Plus that oxide plus one electron that was eliminated from the deep block, making it excite. That's why it's yellow. But on cooling, it can still get the oxygen back and then goes back to white. So this expect this question to come. That is dry heat test. So if that is the case, that's what you're going to see. Then secondly, for the second test on the end, you have maybe the oxygen says it's not still in water. I don't see a question coming ask to dissolve it in water. I'm looking at asking you to this second portion of this that you should add it ACL. Which if you do that, it's going to give you zinc chloride plus plus H2O. Then they may ask you to this divide this into three portions. Okay? Into three portions. So first portion of this is likely going to test for zinc. And if you are testing for zinc, you are to use you are using a uh, aqueous of this. So if zinc reacts to this it's gonna form zinc hydroxide which is gonna come out as a precipitate and most color of this PPT is going to give you white gelatinous PPT form. Okay, which in excess the PPT dissolves. Okay. Then on the second of the second of the test tube, the same zinc again, but this time you want to confirm it proper if it is zinc properly. So that means here you're going to be using NH3, okay, which with the help of water is going to also form zinc hydroxide, okay, that is zinc plus this and OH. So it's going to give you this, which also gives you white gelatinous, gelatinous PPT, which in excess ammonia dissolves. So when this one's are dissolved, when this one is, is dissolving, you are likely going to suspect aluminum with zinc. But on this ax this axis, you are no longer going to uh, suspect aluminum, but you are now confirming that it is truly zinc. Then I don't know whether this one will be very necessary for this exam, but let's do it in case it came out. Maybe they will also identify chloride ion. So now they find chloride ion there. That is to say that you will be asked to add this this reagent to, us to remove if there is any interfering ion then because it was among the list of reagents given okay and then you now add this and then after you now add this to confirm so if you are doing this of course once this reacts with this it's going to give you an insoluble silver chloride which is going to come in as white ppt as white ppt so putting all this into perspective or put it in a tabular form it should have Text observation inference. Okay, so what we have now is on the first instance, we'll start with Zn plus heat. I don't know, it must not come this way. Maybe we come the other way around. Maybe say divide, maybe say divide the D into two portions. The first portion, heat. So you'll be looking at heat. Once you see heat, that means tons. You want to observe tons. Tons from okay, tons. Okay, what to do is you see yellow, so you see tons yellow on heating and white on cooling. Okay, once you see this when you heat, that means the inference is that this is what's. Is present. That's the only oxide of oxide of metal that when you heat it, it is it is yellow, and then because this oxygen does that is not that strongly uh, uh, attached to zinc, so on heating it jump over. So that's why the color it excites. It's yellow. Once it cools, it goes back to what it is. So that is it on that aspect. So, but what I'm looking at, maybe this can actually come uh, the first text or the second one where you now see the other portion of dn so remember is this is not going to be like this it's supposed to be dn so it's expected they don't know what dn is so second portion of dn plus hcl okay so okay so mean that since this is amphoteric can dissolve it so here d dissolves 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 
completely. Completely. Okay. Dissolve completely. No effort. Vescence. No effervescence. Dissolve completely. No effervescence. Okay. As if there's no effervescence, maybe we may be asked to text the gas. But you're not testing the gas since there's no effervescence. So you don't see any gas at this point. So it means that uh, maybe you are not to write anything here. Okay, here can be because there is no, or if there is to test the gas with light, what that means here, you can say CO2, CO2 from CO3 is not there, it's absence. Okay, then you now know that if this case happens, if you are reacting that is DN zinc oxide, zinc oxide plus this CO, you are having zinc chloride, zinc chloride just like you have here. Okay, so on this note, good, you have it already here. So that means you have to, at this point, what we have here, divide into three portions. So the first portion will act at this, this first portion. So if you're having the first portion, first portion from here, plus NaOH, first we have in drops, second we have in excess. Okay, in drops, we're going to have a white PPT form. In drops in excess, PPT dissolves. Okay, why we when you form white PPT, it should be recorded that this also form white PPT gelatinous. This gelatinous will be very, very important. So please, white gelatinous PPT formed. Okay, and then it will dissolve. So this is what you have this or this present. Then when PPT dissolves, it is also this. Or this also present. Okay, that's what you have if you have the first portion. Then the second portion, second portion plus NH3 in drops in excess. Okay, in drops, we also have white jella tinius PPT in excess, PPT dissolves. Dissolves. So you still have the same thing here. This or this. You are present. Then this alone confirm. Why at this point it confirm? Because it's a deep block element. So you're going to form complexes with that. So finally, we're going to look at the third. It's not compulsory. They may not ask it. But if they do, do so, and you now see on any of the portion, that one can even be first portion. On any of the portion, you are asked to add maybe third, third portion, third portion plus, plus this, plus that, and then plus NH3. On this, with this, no reaction. No reaction. So since there is no reaction, you don't have anything to infer. With this, you see why it's PPT. Okay, no gelatinous. Once you see why PPT means silver chloride is formed, you have Cl minus present. Okay, present. So now with this, PPT dissolves, gives clear solution. With ammonia, PPT dissolves, 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 give colorless solution. So this is at this point, you have to confirm chloride. I uh, mean, this particular test may not be given. So, but I'm not doing it because at this point of adding this to this DN, there has been a chemical change. Meaning that the salt is no longer zinc oxide or zinc chloride. Any identification we are doing on this same reaction is this cut on this. We are identifying no longer zinc salt. The only chemical test we carry on zinc salt is that that involves heating it directly. So, direct heat. So, these are the question we do in this um, video okay like share uh videos and if you have any comment you drop it, drop it in the comment section thank you for viewing